Club, Coach Todd here. Wanted to talk to you today about um, recording um, your repetitions and the difficulty level of your exercises while doing P90X. Tony Horton says in the video, you've heard it, um, he says, how do you know what to do if you didn't know what you did? And that really couldn't ring truer. Um, recently, I, I started religiously recording my reps, my repetitions on each exercise, and the difficulty level. Um, what that has done, I'm actually going to show you guys an example of my, my workout yesterday, my chest, shoulders, and triceps workout, and I'm going to show you how much I bumped up my, my repetitions and weights um, just, from, just from knowing what I did last week and then knowing what I'm capable of. Um, really, really helped me push myself to uh, go beyond what I did last week. And that's, that's why this is so important. That's why I want to show you guys what I did, the, the leaps and bounds that I made in just one week, just by recording what I did. I want to encourage you guys to do the same so that you can say, okay, last week I did 20, 20 decline push-ups. This week, I'm going for 25. I know I can do it. I'm going to push myself as hard as I can. And that's where you guys are going to get awesome results. And that's, I've been seeing, like I said, huge gains in, in both weight and repetitions. I've been having to bump up my weight a lot to keep my repetitions down because I'm trying to gain a little size. But let's take a look at my chart and I'll show you guys the gains I made just yesterday. All right, so hopefully this isn't too blurry, but um, you, can, you can see the gains I've made. Um, that first one there is slow motion, three in one push ups. And I went from doing 12 slow ones and 10 bonus, or 12 slow ones and five bonus to 10 bonus. Uh, stayed the same on in and out shoulder flies. Chair dips, I got 30 with one leg in the air on each, and I put a little plus there. That's key. I put a little plus if it was too easy for me. That means next week I need to bump it up. You guys need to do the same thing. Whatever you want to put there to, uh, to tell yourself that you need to take it up a notch next week. Um, plunge push-ups, I got 15. I got 12 last week. I still need to do more. Obviously, that uh, week five there, I wasn't pushing myself very hard. So this is important to record and recognize what you're capable of. Um, pike press, nine last week. I got 14 this week. I almost broke my neck doing those. I was pushing so hard. But um, you can see side try rise. I got 20 on both sides. Increased by eight reps on floor flies. Um, that was a huge gain. Scarecrows, again, I need to bump it up. Same thing on overhead tricep extension. I got uh, I got 15 with, with 20 pounds, obviously. I need to bump that up. Two twitch uh, speed push-ups. Sorry about the blurriness, guys, but you can... You can see the numbers, but you can see all the gains here, guys. You see 12, 20, 8, 25, and whenever I get up into the above 10 reps, I bump up the weight the next week, you can see. But uh, like side-to-side -side push push-ups, I got 20 instead of 15. Poor flies, I bumped my weight up to 15. Went up 5 pounds on side-leaning tricep extensions. Got 12 one-arm push-ups instead of 6. Weighted circles, I, got, I used 10 pounds instead of 5. So this is, guys, I can't stress it enough that uh, you need to record what you do each week. That way you have a goal to meet the next week. Once you know what you're capable of. If you know you're capable of doing 10 push-ups, next week you better be doing 10 push-ups. You better be doing 11. Push yourself. That's where you're going to get results, guys. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions on um, what I'm doing. And these little printouts that I got, I downloaded these right off of uh, Beachbody's website. I'll provide the link to, uh, to download these, these charts. Uh, in the description of the video. So look for that. Leave your comments. Don't forget to subscribe and visit me on rippedclub.net. Take care, guys. God bless.